today's video is going to be my trip to Japan. I went to visit my sister and also did some yarn shopping along the way. So I hope you guys enjoy and get some ideas for places to visit in Tokyo. First stop is Okadaya in Shinjuku. This is a multi-floor craft store located very close to the 3D cat billboard. The entrance was in an alley, so keep your eyes peeled. This is where I got the PS Monte yarn that you might have seen in my recent shorts. The fifth floor is where the yarn section is, and they had the widest selection of yarn I saw during my trip. They really had a wide variety from baby yarn, mohair, chanel, cotton to silk. I didn't get a recording of it, but this is the shelf where the PS Monte yarn was. There was also books and magazines, and I really like that they offered these crochet and knit packs that contained the yarn and the pattern, and those are just starting to become more popular in Canada, so it was cool to see. And there were tons of finished items on display for inspiration. And of course we have to grab a bite to eat, so we went to Kura Sushi, a conveyor belt sushi place. Then on our way back, we just had to stop into this arcade. Let's see, does Kate get the pillow? <laughs> I didn't have much luck with the bigger cranes, but I did get some redemption with the little ones. I won this little Pachita plushie. On another machine, the plushie got stuck on the claw, but the worker was really nice and opened up the case to give it to me, so that was cool. Let's go to a couple craft stores in Shibuya. Hands is more of a general crafting and hobby shop, but I think they do a really good job of covering all the possible hobbies with the range of items they carry. Just look at the store map. From woodworking to health and cosmetics, they had pretty much everything in between. Yeah. One section that we both really enjoyed were the miniature DIY kits. These really brought back some childhood memories of when our mom would bring us to a library in Arizona that had a massive seven-story dollhouse that was incredibly detailed. As kids, we would spend hours looking at all the carefully placed items and the hand-painted wear, so this was a nice bit of nostalgia for us. This is my favorite. Look at her. She's an artsy girl. She has a laptop. There were also these moving DIY kits that lit up and spun. The fiber art section here was pretty small, but they had some really cute items. Another shop to check out is Textile World Toa if you're more into sewing.
just did my makeup and we're getting ready to go to Team Labs, the interactive art exhibit. Almost everyone goes to see Team Labs when they come to Japan. The bus was pretty packed, but I got to see what the streets look like from the driver's point of view. Once you get there, you line up by the time slot you booked, and we got there a little bit early, so we had time to eat some ramen. We just ordered ramen, and we're waiting outside. It's actually kind of cold out. There are many Team Labs art exhibits all around the world, each one with a specific theme that the art is centered around. This one is Planets. There are a series of rooms with art installments that you would walk through to fully immerse yourself into the art. This is so pretty. This one had to be my favorite. This one was a water-filled room with lights projected onto the water, and they would sometimes turn into koi fish. In this room, there were lots of floating orbs, and I think they were supposed to change color when you touch them, but it just wasn't working when I was doing it, maybe because there was a lot of people, but still really fun regardless. In this room, falling flowers were projected onto the ceiling, so a lot of people were laying on the ground to get a better view. In this one, there were lots of hanging orchids, so you had to kind of crawl your way into it at one point. Right after that, we wanted to avoid going home during rush hour, so we actually went to a shopping center, and here we're just walking through Muji. Muji water, Muji rice, <laughs> Muji soup. <laughs> In Canada, Muji's more like a department store, so it was interesting to see they had a huge food section. We're at this really cute cafe right now. It's got these like trellises. We've got a cafe latte. And a pasta. Yeah, we did quite a lot of shopping. Eggplant pasta. Gary and Kate's cafe. We are home after a very long day. I feel like that was actually pretty successful because I did some shopping and I didn't use Google Translate. Um, I got a lot of things that I was planning to get. So, we got this cute mug <laughs> and a cute little rice bowl. And that's all for today. If you guys liked the video, please consider subscribing and bye for now.